So a video was brought to my attention by Michael Knowles. He seems to do conservative content here on YouTube. Rather ironically, his YouTube bio is bask in the simple joys of being right. Well, we'll see how right you are. He uploaded a video called Vegans Are Wrong, TikTok's Gone Wild with Michael Knowles. And at the point of filming this, it has over 200,000 views. Few things make me happier than chomping down on some dead, juicy, delicious animals. So immediately he talks about how much he likes meat, very much appealing to his audience. His audience is very, you know, I like my meat and I like my freedom and I like my gut. So immediately appealing to a specific type of person. Let's see if you've got a justification for paying for for those products. And this, unfortunately, creates a conflict between me and the vegan activists. So my producers have gathered together the strongest arguments made by the vegans on TikTok, and we will see if those arguments persuade me to give up my beloved meat. For now, Vegans, take it away. He says he's going up against the strongest arguments. Now, I don't know if he said this ironically. He didn't really sound too sarcastic while he was saying it, but it could be my problem because I struggle to pick up on that stuff sometimes. But it sounds pretty serious. And yeah, as you see in the video, we're not gonna go through everything, but he doesn't actually pick the best arguments. He picks these kind of TikTok videos that are sensationalized. You know, the classic vegans getting owned. So that's kind of cringe. Vegan, because it's strawberry milk and not like cow milk, you know what I mean? So please tell me how you milk a strawberry. The same way that you milk an almond and the same way that you milk an oat. Could you milk me? You probably need like little tiny baby fingers to go get the little cute udders on the oats and you just squeeze them and then you get the milk out of it. Yes! That's an obvious one. Next one. There's the classic implication that plant-based milks aren't milk. Definitionally, they are indeed milk. How many times must I say people didn't have a problem with coconut milk? Almond milk has been a thing for years and years. If you're gonna have a problem with this kind of language, then you're gonna have to go up against loads of foods like peanut butter, hot dogs, toad in the hole. What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. What do you get at Taco Bell? I get a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. See? Also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their like in their wraps? I hope they don't. I've yeah. But I hope they don't I'm... either because then that wouldn't be vegan. Freeze! Uh, You're under arrest for veganity violation. I don't know why she was coming at me. I have seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like place can make it vegan vegans. just to show yeah. people that like it can be like Not convenient. I don't know why you guys are. I eat honey, but honey isn't vegan. Did you learn that at Vegan Academy? I can't tell if she's extremely pro-vegan or if she's actually trying to convince people not to be vegan at all. Because this isn't just a phenomenon that happens with vegans. This is true of any group. You will always have people who are more orthodox in that group than others who are more rigorous. I don't know how he doesn't know Jubilee. He seems like the type of channel that would react to these things because of the topics they go over. But this clip was from six vegans versus one secret meat eater odd one out. So the premise is they're trying to find the odd one out. So it makes sense that someone would act like a stereotype or you know say things that people would expect from that person so that they aren't seen as suspicious and then deemed the odd one out. It's the aim of the game. That person may well be like that but I know if I didn't want to seem suspicious I'd really play on the stereotype oh you oh mm, you looked at a glass of milk once yeah that's not vegan so it's a battle between an extraordinarily unreasonable person and an only semi unreasonable person that would be the kind of moderate vegan but I really like her because the effect of her her snarkiness and arguments is to show people that they're probably not vegan and veganism might well be impossible. Veganism might be impossible. I don't know what he's saying there. What do you mean it might be impossible? Oh, if the philosophers get a hold of you, they'll be annoyed that you're using modal language. They'll ask you under what modality it's impossible. Is it a physical impossibility to be vegan? Is it a logical impossibility to be vegan? Why would you say that? I wanna know how it might be an impossibility, like what part of it in your mind isn't possible? And there's really no reason to be vegan anyway. I haven't really heard a good argument to be vegan at all. Just all these 
all these ways in which people fall short. No reason to be vegan. Okay, well, here's a reason that I, I will present to you. So he concedes that we are indeed animals and there is no morally significant difference between humans and other animals that he could pinpoint to that would make it justified to exploit and kill those species of animals that wouldn't be applicable to us. He later goes on to name some attributes of being a human that don't universally apply to humans in the first place so i mean the arguments that he would present would probably land a lot of human beings in this same predicament where they could potentially be exploited and killed in the same manner that these other species of animals are so this is just not a good route to go down at all actually bask in the simple joys of being right right now go to grillblazer.com slash are you tired of waiting ages for your grill to heat up well now you can say goodbye to those tedious moments of impatiently watching the charcoal burn and say hello to instant barbecue perfection thanks to our new friends over at Grill Blazer. Interesting how this aligns perfectly with him trying to advertise a grill, probably to put dead animals on. I mean, it kind of works perfectly. I could imagine, you know, the PR behind this being like, what would make people buy a grill? I know, let's do something that really sticks it to the vegans so people feel like they need to act out. That'll really get them wanting to buy it. I could see the comments now probably being like, oh yeah, I bought that just so I could put steak on it just so I can stick it to the vegans. It's actually perfect marketing so I've got to give it to him there. Hates animals. Human rights are animal rights because humans are animals. If you fight for human rights and you don't fight for animal rights you're being a speciesist and that's just fact of the matter. Very cool. Speciesist. That makes sense. He's the first president in like 145 years to not have a, a dog companion. I mean I'm not saying the dog people that don't like like dogs are bad people, but I'm just saying. Only the dog lovers would understand that. Caring towards animals is a good trait to have in a human. You know? He's got a lot in his plate, having a dog, and that's a lot. I mean, I mean we're trying to fight against him. That's the kind of animal abuse that he thinks should be private information because those individuals deserve their privacy. Who did you vote for? I didn't vote. <laughs> Fleckus, one of the all time great interviewers out there. She makes one point that's true, which is that we shouldn't be cruel to animals. What are you doing? That's bad if when we're cruel to animals. Shouldn't be cruel to animals, he says. It's a good thing, I guess, it's not cruel to breed animals into existence, exploit them and kill them. I guess it's great that it's not cruel to have their babies taken away from them, mutilate them, have their death date scheduled. Nothing about that cruel whatsoever. So thank goodness for that. Or thank God, should I say, because he brings up uh, religion. Now, knowing me, I'm agnostic, so I'm waiting for the, the argument for God in the first place. But let's just say if you're going to use it to be the case that because God said that this was permissible somewhere in the Bible, therefore it's morally justified, well then everything else in the Bible that God said was justified would also be justified, which is honestly horrifying if somebody wants to go down that route. But the reason it's bad when we're cruel to animals it's not because animals have any rights. If you're for human rights, but you're not for animal rights, you're a speciesist. What is a speciesist? I guess a speciesist is someone who draws distinctions between different species which is true. Guilty as charged. You got me. So he completely misrepresents what speciesism is. It's not when you draw a distinction between species. We literally, all who have the ability to do so, can draw a distinction between a giraffe, a dog, a cat, and a human being. Bask in the simple joys of being right. No, vegans don't have this inability to draw between species. We just don't see a species difference when they're sentient beings as a justification to exploit them, kill them, or have this differential treatment that violates their negative rights. It's like saying, oh, uh, sexism is where you just understand that men and women are different. Like, no? So you actually believe that you aren't an animal? I'm a human being. I'm and a homo sapiens. We're mammals. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sorry, but You're you don't believe God, that humans are animals. God that if, is insane. Ask God if he made you an animal. Ask God. Try that. I'm Try sorry. That. Sorry. Where is this God? And by the way, if God and the devil were in a room with a baby lamb, who would slit the baby <laughs> like lamb's I throat? I assume the devil. <laughs> Right, or the lamb would lay down his life for his friends as a sacrifice to the father and then be resurrected on the third day. He assumes the devil would slit the lamb's throat, yeah, because it conveys this kind of nasty, spiteful, void of morality kind of behavior, doesn't it? But she, she made the error from the beginning. 
And I guess the guy was not totally precise in his language either. Be ridiculous. Which is, yes, we're animals. We're just a different kind of animal. Human beings are animals, but we're rational animals. We have a rational soul. We have will and intellect. We can conceive of things in the abstract, and we can turn our will toward those things rationally. We don't just follow our appetitive will. We don't just follow our base will. We don't just follow our desires for food or whatever, but we also follow our higher will and our, our concept of justice. The, the beasts can't have a concept of justice. And yes, as I said, he concedes that we are indeed a species of animal. So I would like to know what about these things makes it so that we are above this threshold whereby it would be justified to stab our throats, exploit us, take our babies from us, you know, brand us, do all these things that we do to animals. Like, What is it about those things that makes it so special, the human life, but not the lives of the other animals. You have humans who don't hold these attributes. They aren't rational beings. They cannot think in the abstract, but they are still sentient beings. They are still subjects having an experience. So to see those attributes and think, oh no, yeah, screw them, they don't have them, would be a bad thing to inflict exploitation and harm upon them. All right, we're at a pig vigil right now outside of a slaughterhouse that slaughters 10,000 pigs per day. We're bearing witness to the pigs going in, stopping the trucks, giving them water, giving them love, and then these people show up. They think it's f hilarious to come and set up a barbecue right in front of us. They just came across the road as we were bearing witness to the truck and brought over a hot dog and offered it to us. And he ends it with laughing at a pig vigil where people came to uh, barbecue sausages. So they're barbecuing animals who have also been sent to gas chambers and the same species of animal at that. I don't really know what's funny about that. Like uh, my sense of humor is pretty like destroyed. You know, the internet has ruined my brain to the point where I find the most ridiculous things funny. Like it shouldn't find it funny. <laughs> so I, I find so much funny, but I'm struggling to find the punchline or the joke in this one. Pigs are sentient beings. They are aware of their surroundings around them. They feel pleasure, they feel pain, they feel fear. I've been to these pig vigils you know, just before they're being put in a gas chamber and they are so scared. It's horrible. You can't do anything about it. Like what's so funny about their bodies being barbecued up? Sorry. I, again, I'm struggling to find the joke. So yeah, Michael Knowles just, you know, being so correct, being so right. Well done, Michael. You've done a really good job. Obviously, yeah, he went up against the best arguments. Uh, of course, yeah, he did. But I doubt very much he would actually be willing to have a debate conversation with somebody who could hold their own in that arena, taking the position that one ought be vegan, that we ought grant uh, negative rights to these other species of animals. He he would crumble and I really like hope that the people who see this you know who are willing who would like to contact him would be up for talking to him I don't think I would be the best kind of person to speak to him I represent a lot of things that I think he doesn't really like all that much so it probably wouldn't go through all that well but, you know I'll give it a shot and I'll uh, see other people who he might you know better respect and talk to uh, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you have nothing to say, then please just leave a salad bowl down below so that I know that you're here and know that you enjoyed the video. I want to say thank you to all my channel members and patrons who are supporting my content. A lot's being done behind the scenes right now, so I really appreciate your help. And I hope you appreciate the content that I've been putting out. Just so you know, I don't have just this channel. I have three channels. Please subscribe to all of them. And as well as that, I do post to Twitter, to TikTok, to Instagram, to Facebook. I'm basically all over the place so please ensure that if you're on those platforms that you're following me over there as well so that you don't miss a thing that i put out thank you ever so much for watching i do hope you're well and until next time salads i will see you soon